Call 800-209-6528. That's 800-209-6528. 800-209-6528. Snow showers are being seen from the Chicago area all the way down towards the outer banks of the Carolinas. It's been a messy morning and early afternoon around the Charlotte and Raleigh areas. Wintry mix continues to fall as we go through the next couple of hours. So the drive home likely could be slippery in parts of North Carolina. Just be careful later on this afternoon. The air coming in over the next couple of days is going to be progressively colder. So keep that in mind. Snow showers still moving out of the Raleigh area. Just a couple little flurries left over off to the west. Looks like in the next hour or so things are going to be much better. It's not going to warm up all that much though. We only mustered 29 degrees so far this afternoon. Farther to the south, it's much better. Sunshine temperature around 68 degrees in Jackson, 77 in Jacksonville, 74 degrees in Miami. A smattering of winter weather advisories already out, though, from eastern Tennessee all the way up through the uh, Laurel Highlands of western Pennsylvania. Note the winter storm warnings where we do have the snow falling in eastern North Carolina and the warnings for the Great Lakes. This band of snow has produced over half a foot north of the Buffalo area. Travel going to be tough there. Temperatures early in the lower 20s still. Uh, meteorologist Mark Van so a quick hitting storm in the Carolinas, a little snow and ice here. But far the south, it's beautiful in Florida. Nice day today for you around Tampa, 71. Nice in Atlanta, cool and a bit wet in Myrtle Beach. Drying out in Myrtle Beach tonight. Cold in Atlanta. Temperatures in the 20s, but a pleasant night in Tampa. Beautiful here across the Lone Star State. Upper 70s today in Houston. Nice and mild in Dallas. And pleasant in Oklahoma City with sunshine tonight. A little nippy there in Oklahoma City, 27. Just a few clouds in Houston and clear and cool in Dallas. Gorgeous in the southwest. Temperature is still above average here. We're in the mid-80s. Nice and warm Los Angeles. Beautiful in San Diego. Looking good on the strip in Vegas. Just a few clouds in Vegas tonight. Mid-50s, L.A. and San Diego. In the northwest, uh, the moisture directed up into Canada. Side swiping a... Uh, Western Washington, Western Oregon. Showers today in Seattle, a spotty shower to Portland. Mid-upper 50s. Variably cloudy skies in Boise tonight. We'll cool it down into the mid-30s. Just a shower here and there in Portland. And a couple showers in Seattle. Blast of Arctic air coming down through the upper Midwest today. Very cold in the Twin Cities. 11 the high. Cold winds blowing through Chicago. Snow showers and cold in Fort Wayne. Night very cold, down to five in Fort Wayne, one in Chicago, and a frigid night in the Twin Cities. We are down to seven below. Cold and dry along the East Coast today, but uh, lake effect snow showers and squalls in advance of the Arctic front. Clouds on the increase today in New York and cold. Boston are in the mid 20s and clouding up sub freezing temperatures in Philadelphia. So, temperatures are well below average for yet another day. And then tonight, the Arctic front sweeps through. Later tonight, there'll be a burst of snow and wind, and the temperatures will be tumbling into the teens. Well, lots of cold air across the eastern United States. Meanwhile, in the west, rain has returned to the northwest. Just some minor delays around Seattle, but most of the steadiest rain will be north of Portland. Low clouds, fog will continue to cause minor delays around Salt Lake City. Beautiful day. Phoenix 87, Las Vegas 74 in the 80s, Los Angeles, San Diego 64 in San Francisco with sunshine. Here's the cold, Minneapolis 24 in Omaha today, Kansas City 37, cold but dry, so we're not looking at any delays. No problems in the south, we have, we've had areas of dense fog this morning in Houston and New Orleans, that will continue to go away, 61 degrees in Little Rock. Nice afternoon in Florida. As we get into the Carolinas, watch yourself around Charlotte and Raleigh. There will be some snow showers. And eastern North Carolina, uh, across the northern Outer Banks, we could be looking at a couple of inches of snow. Flurries and snow squalls can cause some delays around Detroit and Columbus. But in Indianapolis and Chicago, I think it's only a couple of flurries. It is cold in Bangor and Boston, but it is going to be dry. Major delays around Buffalo. We'll have some sun in Baltimore and Philly. While on a ski trip in the French Alps, an avalanche roared over a ski group and one skier managed to get it all on tape. Luckily, it was a dry powder avalanche, much less lethal than the slab avalanches that account for more than 90% of avalanche deaths each year. 
¿Qué hacemos, Rafa? You can see they're actually watching it barrel toward them, probably hoping it'd be a miss. Thankfully, nobody hurt here, the group all having the right equipment to survive. For more weather news and videos like this, go to videowall.accuweather.com. I'm Cynthia Hill. Welcome yet again to the annual Deal Dash Spelling Bee Competition, sponsored by DealDash.com, the bidding site where you can save up to 90% off retail. Meet our first contestant, the bear, DealDash.com. D E. Oh no, the bear could not spell DealDash.com. So close. And now, how about our next contestant, the bus? Uh oh, the bus certainly was unable to spell DealDash.com. Bummer. And finally, our lovely champion from last year, the girl, DealDash.com. What's the definition? DealDash.com, a website where you can save up to 90% on your favorite brands. Can you use it in a sentence? Barbara won a 55-inch TV for less than $30 on DealDash.com. D-E-A-L-D-A-S-H dot C-O-M. She did it again. Can you spell DealDash.com? Go to DealDash.com to find the best deals on brand new items. DealDash.com. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second Spin Mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-763-2416 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call now at 1-800-763-2416. Well, we've been sitting in the chill for a couple of days, but an Arctic front is on its way southeastward tonight, and that is going to reinforce the cold and bring us the coldest year we've seen yet and possibly some record chills Saturday night. We'll be dropping all the way into the single digits tonight in Pittsburgh, picking up about one to three inches of snow off the lakes as that front moves through. Six tonight in Dayton and a bitter cold 19 in Baltimore. We're normally in the mid-30s at our coldest this time of the year. 20 tonight in D.C., 19 in Philly, 18 in New York. York City, and uh, we may be cutting these in half or even into a third as we go through Saturday night into Sunday. Wind chill warnings already out for the Poconos in northeastern Pennsylvania. Heads up around Boston, Portland. Snow showers moving through very late tonight into Saturday morning. Syracuse picking up several inches of snow as the lake effect bands continue. You can see that front, these bands of snow setting up right along it and pressing southeastward as we go into the early hours of Saturday morning. Could be disruptive for overnight travel. Temperatures tonight in the southeast will range from cool to downright cold, depending on how far north you go. Nashville, I'd file that under the cold category. 16 degrees tonight with just a few clouds. We'll even drop into the 20s in Birmingham and Atlanta. The good news is nothing falling out of the sky, so the roads will be okay. But the cars will need some time before you go out and hit the roads for your Friday night plans. We'll drop to 24 degrees in Raleigh, 23 in Charlotte, cleaning up in the Raleigh area after some light snow earlier today. Luckily, nothing new coming later on tonight. Clear tonight in Columbia as well, 30 degrees for the low there. Central and South Florida, this is where we get into the cooler air. It's cold for this time of the year in that part of the country, but some mid-50s not sounding too bad to some folks off to the north. We'll drop to 32 in Augusta. Plenty of stars out, no clouds in the area. Futurecast shows that coastal low that brought us the nuisance wintry weather in the Carolinas earlier today. That's going to continue to move eastward, clearing skies Saturday into Sunday and colder air. A huge water main break covered a Scranton, Pennsylvania neighborhood in ice. Look at this. Water rocketing as high as 50 feet into the night sky, then cascading down the street. 12-inch pipe broke overnight on Thursday. Isn't that just the way? Broken stuff in the middle of the night? 
crews were able to get the water turned off, but not before everything was flooded. The next morning, it was like a scene from the movie Frozen. Ice covering homes, cars, signs, trees, power lines and fences. Fire chief on the scene compared it to Superman's Fortress of Solitude. More than two dozen people had to leave their homes after the water backed up and flooded into their basements. To add insult to injury, the flooding broke many hot water heaters. This as we approach one of the coldest weekends of the month. Red Cross opened a warming center for those affected by the break. For more news and videos like this, go to videowall.accuweather.com. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso. It'll be calm, but turning colder tonight across parts of the south central U.S. 40 for the low tonight in Dallas, but notice nice clear skies. Just some patchy clouds around Houston. We'll be watching for a little bit of fog to settle in along the coast once again. 53 degrees the low there. 49 in New Orleans. Definitely chilly along the Gulf Coast, but not nearly as cold as what our neighbors off to the north are dealing with as we go through this weekend. Chill in Oklahoma City tonight, 27 degrees for the low, 13 in Kansas City. That is well below average, and this cold air is going to be with us for several days, too. 29 in Little Rock. Again, just a few clouds, so the roads are looking good across the area, but uh, the engines are going to need some extra time to warm up before you head out. Upper 20s tonight in Denver with just a few clouds. Nothing but stars in Albuquerque and El Paso. Temperatures will be in the mid-30s to lower 40s. Futurecast, as you'd expect, not much going on. But as we go through the uh, end of this weekend, we'll be watching for a little puff of snow into parts of the heartland. Well, if you want the mild air in the U.S., the southwest is once again the place to find it, especially in Southern California. 54 tonight in Los Angeles, 56 degrees in San Diego. For some places in the east, that's going to be, oh, three, four times as warm as we get Saturday into Sunday. We'll be at 50 in San Francisco with just a few clouds in the area for tonight. Patchy clouds in Sacramento, Reno, and Fresno, too. We'll be in the mid-30s in the Reno area. Colder, of course, as you go up in elevation up into the ski resorts if you're looking to head out for the weekend. Cold enough that maybe they'll make a little bit of snow, but no fresh powder coming from Mother Nature. A few clouds around from Vegas. Plenty of stars out in Phoenix. Temperatures will stay in the middle 50s here. 29 in Salt Lake City. That's uh, definitely on the cooler side compared to the rest of the region, but mild for this time of the year in that part of the country. Futurecast, not showing anything coming our way. All the storms will stay off to the north, at least through this weekend. Your bathroom can go from this to this in just one day. This process got done in one day. It really can. Well, with bath wraps, it can. It was remarkable. They did a wonderful job. The new bathrooms, they were so easy to clean. Customize your bath wraps with hundreds of options. The price was phenomenal. Call now and get a free $1,500 designer upgrade and a free $600 safety upgrade. 1-800-782-1297. AccuWeather works with some of the largest companies in the world to protect people, products, and profits every day. That's superior accuracy you can trust. To learn more, visit AccuWeather.com slash Enterprise Solutions. Do you own mutual funds? You may be paying fees and costs of up to 5% and not even know it. Fisher Investments isn't a mutual fund, and we don't have hidden fees. Do you own an annuity? Your broker may have made a commission of 8% or more when he sold it to you. Are you sure he had your best interests in mind? At Fisher Investments, we're not brokers, and we don't earn commissions on trades or by selling you products. With our model, as your portfolio grows, we grow. 
Call Fisher Investments today and get our free guide, 99 Retirement Tips, from founder and Forbes columnist Ken Fisher. This guide will help you get ready for retirement or could make your retirement even better. Find out how to not run out of money, how to reduce your taxes during retirement, plus 97 more helpful tips. Don't wait until it's too late. Get our free guide and help make your retirement more comfortable. Call Fisher Investments today. 1-800-793-4356. That's one 800 793 